Oh, that's a bad <laughs> wild. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Rusty Nuts Media. Today, we're working on Project Gooch again. Um, what we're doing today, we're just gonna drop the motor just to get it out of the way so we can clean the engine bay out because right now it's only four bolts holding it in there. So we're gonna pull that out. Uh, we're gonna get the engine bay completely cleaned up, do a little shaving here and there, a little tucking, and then just shove that motor back in. So that's what we're working on today. You ready to get started? Oh yeah, let's get started. guys we got the motor pulled um, it's set off to the side right now so now we can start taking off all the additional brackets anything that's left in the engine bay like the motor mount brackets stuff like that set them to the side uh, then we can take some some metal that we bought at the store we can start welding in all the holes um, just filling in everything and we're gonna shave everything else all the studs everything like that just basically clean this thing up a whole lot so we're gonna start working on that right right now all right, here's where we're at now. We got all the studs and brackets and everything removed. We've taken a wire wheel on our drill and kind of scuffed the paint off of all the holes we'll be filling up, everything like that for now. So the next step, we cut some brackets. Where are those brackets at? So we cut some brackets out. 
Um, so we can put those where the coolant runs through the firewall to get to the heater core. So we're gonna plug it up with those holes. We're gonna try to start welding all the holes shut. We'll see how much of that we can get done today. Cody's got a lot of the holes welded in. He's uh, he started grinding them down a little bit so we can get them flush. I went ahead and ran to the store, got some uh, got some fiberglass. Any of the holes that we couldn't fill in with the welder, a lot of the thinner metal, it'll just blow through it. So we got some fiberglass to put on the back side of those, start filling those in really good, start smoothing everything out really good. So this is where we're at right now. This is with a lot of the holes welded up. We've started grinding down the big globs of weld we've put on them. You can see these big globs back here. And then this is after we grind them down a little bit. There's still a lot to do. The plates came out nice. But we're gonna keep moving forward on it. We're gonna try to do as much as we can before it gets too dark. Um, and we'll just kinda update you as we go along. All right, so we were able to get a whole lot done. Um, we got a lot of the metal ground down from where we welded it earlier. We got a lot of holes fiberglassed in. Uh, we're letting that cure right now. We also deep cleaned everything, scrubbed everything down so there's no grease or oil in here anymore. Um, we've started stripping a little bit of paint here and there. Uh, we cleaned the subframe really good. So the next video that comes out is probably gonna be continuing uh, the shaving the holes. And then, uh, and then adding some more body filler or fiberglass or anything, just kind of smooth out the engine bay. And so right now, that's what it looks like. Everything's nice and clean. The uh, steering rack looks almost brand new now. So we've got some fiberglass, some metal, some welding going on. So like I said, the next one coming up, we'll get everything smoothed down. We'll start getting it ready for paint. Uh, once everything's painted, the engine bay is all shaved and done. Then, of course, things start going in one by one, cleaned up, painted, freshened up. And then from there, the wires will start coming back in or working from the motor back that way. We don't know yet. We're going to figure that out when we get there. So, Cody, see you next time. See y'all. Bye.